get everything ready. It's a busy morning for the Bremners with less than an hour before school starts. Is everything in there? Almost ready. Except for I gotta take this paper out because I already had it yesterday. Slight okay. chaos in the apartment is pretty normal for Mason and McKinley's morning routine. They are twins. They're six, almost seven, and they just started first grade. And their routine uh -huh. is even more chaotic this school year. Tell some of the other stories. We get up, seven o'clock, I get them fed, send him upstairs around 8.30. Parents in the apartment complex have been scrambling to find their kids rides to school after Central Valley School District canceled their bus route. Some of us were notified um, September 4th through via email. Some parents were not and school started September 8th. CVSD says they live within the one mile straight line walking radius of Green Acres Elementary. Once you add the twists and turns of the streets, it comes out to a 1.3 mile walk. There's six and there's no way. I don't even let them outside in our grass area to play by themselves, let alone walk to school by themselves. Plus, Brandy says the walk is dangerous. We live right off Sprague. Um, the sidewalks are tiny. The alternative is walking the Centennial Trail. I've walked it a few times with them and there's been, you know, drug paraphernalia, pipes, needles. CVSD says they are aware of the situation and are looking into solutions. They're hiring a crossing guard to be stationed at Sprague and Long Street and have asked the city of Spokane Valley to add a crosswalk there. They're also considering having a staff member lead a walking bus to get the students to and from school every day. And CVSD says they are working to add a bus route to and from the complex after other elementary routes are finished. I'm sure you can. For now, Brandy has a neighbor who gives a ride to school, but when that falls through, it just adds to the chaos. So I had to, you know, hurry and find within an hour and find another ride for him. And it's just, yeah, it's been a nightmare. The district is working to have one of their solutions up and running by this fall. In Spokane, Nicole Hernandez, Crumb 2 News.